This is hold on to your socks, genetic shock and awe. <laughs> because what we're going to do here is we're going to attempt to understand the radically complicated genome that the most intelligent thing in the universe programmed. And what I found was the most complex information storage mechanism in the known universe, the DNA molecule. You realize you have six feet of DNA inside every one of your cells except for your red blood cells? Six feet of a long, fragile, sticky string packed into something that you can't even see. In 2003, a very significant, it was a multi-million dollar, multi-university project called the ENCODE project. They wanted to look at the function of the genome. So they looked at 1% of the genome, little pieces scattered all over the genome. And they said, we just want to see if this part of the genome does something. And what they found out is that most all of the genome is made into RNA. But only 2% of the genome codes for protein. They didn't expect the other stuff to be made into RNA. And they were shocked that not only does each, almost every single letter in the genome code something in RNA, most letters code for multiple pieces of RNA at the same time. So all that 98% junk DNA stuff, if you change a single letter, on average, you're changing six different RNAs. Genes that are used in biochemical pathways, where you have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, they said, let's look in the genome to see if they're next to each other in the genome. And they found out that pretty much are scattered everywhere. Random, junk, willy-nilly, what do you know? It's just thrown in there haphazardly until someone decided to, to fold the chromosomes into three-dimensional space. And now we're learning more and more that in three dimensions, genes that are used together are often held next to each other in three-dimensional space, even if they're on different chromosomes. And they're very often in a pocket inside the genome that's open so that it can be accessed and used and near a nuclear pore so the messenger RNA can go straight out into the nucleus. So the cells know how to find a gene buried in this big bird's nest of DNA, open it up, unwrap the gene, make stuff out of it, and then pack it away again. Today, with the molecular revolution, genetics is at war with Darwinism.